Next up on the Sage 2020 Showcase, we have Bun and Gun. The overview states that this is a game that stars a rabbit who has a gun. Specifically that one that ran across the screen. <laughs> uh, let's see. The overview states for Sage, there is a one-level demo representing the first level of the game. Switch weapons, elements, fire type, collect chips, and discover alternate paths and secrets. That was an odd sentence overview, but okay. Think you have what it takes to fight the giant snake that's been terrorizing the town? All right. This is early development. Don't expect to look the same if it turns into full game. All right. Sure, sure. Let's check it out. And yes, there is audio YouTube. It just takes a bit. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone there? Wait, you. Yes, you. Hi, and welcome to the Bun and Gun Sage demo. My name is Star, and that character you're playing as? That's Bun, my bunny honey. They're in Wilder West, busy tracking down the outlaw that busted up my bar. Bun's not going to let him off lightly. Harry. There won't be much left of him once Bun's through of him. You're going to have to help Bun fight off Harry's goons with their trusty pistol. And keep going until you get to my bar. What's that? Bun's not a blue hedgehog? Any games are allowed in Sage, you know. Anyway, please help. Bun's got to get their revenge. And they can't do it without you. <laughs> Kitty fell asleep. I'm glad I have such an engaging stream for people to watch. Alright, here we are. With our little... Is that, is that for aiming? Yeah, it is. What is that? Alright. Oh, that's a... That is a that is the dynamite heady attack sound, I think. Or jump sound. One or the other. Hmm? There are some dynamite heady sounds here. Am I using my ears? Observation. I think this guy has one arm. It's a very dynamite heady esque attack, actually, too. This guy does have two arms. He's doing a very good job hiding the other one. I get fire out of sleep usually, okay? I was I was making a joke, but yeah, I understand. Whoops. Oh, okay. Slide. <laughs> that slide animation was something, wasn't it? I mean, in point time, you say we can just have your stream in the background as we do other things. Yeah, that's fine. Again, I was making a joke. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Also, I don't know. Feck the Ferret? It was pretty good, but... I don't think it was the best game of the day. It could... It's not bad at all, but I think we had. Let's see, what was the best one, though? If I would, if I were to say that. What do I just picked up? I'm gonna guess that's not safe. This rabbit jumps a bit oddly. Oh shit, I can break through that. What do I do for- what do I get for doing this- okay. A lot of diamond hay sounds, I, I appreciate that. Is that a cat on a pogo stick? Hmm, okay. Sure, why not? <laughs> why not? Cats can pogo stick too. All inclusive. Oh wow, okay. Hmm, all right. Not sure why the camera decided to zoom out there, but I'll take it. Let's see if I can go get that whatever it is. Tisk. The grapple is not terribly great because it grapples you in the direction you grabbed it at. So like, I need to fall below it and then grapple to go upwards. I 
How am I supposed to get up there is the question. Oh, you can... Oh, wait, hold on. Is that a wall jump I just did? Is that a thing I can do? Oh, it is. Okay, that's probably how. So that collision with the wall has a purpose. All right. Oh, I can wall jump here too. Okay, you can just wall jump anywhere. All right. All right, as long as you are right, bouncing off the wall, I suppose. The question is, can I get between these platforms? That's the tricky part. There we go. I did it! What did I do? I doubled my shot. Okay, I'll take it. The double jump was not obvious, actually. It's good to know. Missed a bunch of stuff up there, but whatever. Takes too, a little too long to sink through the quick, quick set, I'd say. Alright, there we go. Ah. I see. Rapid fire, spread shot. No, no, I went up there. There we go. That's not really how segment. That's norm not normally how segment enemies split up, but okay. Normally, if you break a middle segment, it destroys the ones behind, but okay. Hmm, what's this do? Oh, it's a charge shot. Hmm. Okay. That seems a little slow. I'll be honest. <laughs> Oh, damage doesn't seem that great, actually. This might have been a bad choice of weapon. Oh, well. Alright. I have a little trouble seeing the particle effects of where he's jumping from. Oh, um. Oh, 3D! Ow. Ow. Okay. Because things are zoomed out, it's, it is kind of hard to see his particle effects and figure out where he's attacking from. I'd recommend increasing the visibility of that developer. What the? Wait, how did you come from that side? Okay, whatever. It's worth pointing out the buddy has a delay in his jump, so it's actually really hard to react to the charge. Especially when he doesn't come from a predictable direction with that charge. Ow. I have killed the cactus snake. Gunstar Heroes, the victory music! Seems all right. You, you did it. You got rid of that dangerous creature. Harry's gang must have gotten really worked up. 
Speaking of Harry, Bun's journey isn't over yet. They've still got to get to the bar. And after Bun's done that, Harry is only one of the five bad guys to make up his dangerous gang of outlaws. Bun knows exactly where to find them, and they're going to do whatever it takes to put a stop to their criminal activities. Betty, Julie, Ricky, and Mikey. Four names that make that rabbit shiver. Bun, reload your pistol, and ride on. You're my Wilder West hero. Seems kind of cute. There's a Patreon if you're curious. Can't develop this into a full game unless I have enough funds back in it so my team can work on it. I understand that entirely. If you can't donate, I want to show your support. Post public weekly updates are there if you want to follow the development of the game. I recommend checking out Friends Projects, Shackle Shapes, Fetch the Fetch. Hey, somebody said Fetch instead of Feck. <laughs> he misspelled it as Fetch. Fetch the Ferret! <laughs> Fetch the Ferret sounds like a really cute game where you're just trying to catch ferrets that are thrown in the air or something. Fetch the Ferret. <laughs> Let's fly away. We did check that out. We also checked out Dorma Vaglia. Those were very good. Sandro Gomez had a demo this year, but we actually checked it out last year, and I don't see it being too different, so I didn't check it out this year. If you're curious about that one, check out my 2019 showcase. Because Sandro Gomez was actually quite a good game, but I beat it from start to finish, so I don't believe there's a reason to check it out this year. Um, But yeah. <laughs> but I guess that was Bun and Gun. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, I hope uh, to see it does get enough funding to continue development because it could be quite cute. I'm not sure how I feel about the delayed jump that Bun does. It is. I don't like delayed jumps. I like it when uh, you press the jump button in a platform and you instantly start jumping. This has that delay, which, again, that's it's, it's clearly intentional. It's not a glitch or anything. So it's a design choice, and I'm not sure how I feel about that specifically, but otherwise it feels pretty good. Um, I, of course, would like to see some custom sound effects and stuff, too. A little distracting to hear Gunstar Heroes and Die by Heady. I love, I love the use of Die by Heady, though, because that's a good game. More people should play that game. But anyways, that was Bun and Gun. <laughs>